I think what we should do is actually give the warp prism supply. Like instead of costing two supply, it should give eight supply. What do you think about that? I hadn't considered that. Because that way, Protoss players, they'd have to screw up their whole build because they'd have to build less pylons. Mm -hmm. So there's an important rating, which is the uh, the pylon. Well, this is used to like figure out the best. I use this for low-level players because obviously high-level players haven't mapped out. But it's the uh, a pylon efficiency and necessary infrastructure safety rating, or the pen is rating. Uh, and you want to have <laughs> as big of a pen is rating as possible. Um, so that way, like you have all these pylons. That's really going to screw people up. If we make that change, damn. So I feel like I don't know. I have a pretty, I have a pretty average pen is rating, unfortunately. Yeah. But I'm, I'm worried. Is there a way that you can? But you, but that? in Twitch like, chat, you say it's bigger. Oh yeah, of course. Well, it, it, you know, it's my stream. You know, I, I own the Twitch chat. Anyone yeah. who says otherwise is banned immediately. Yeah, it's against the terms of service to actually prove it. So. Is it? I mean. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh man, I gotta delete some bots. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh, guys, it's quip. Quips are forever. All right. <laughs> Can we invite Parting? No, it's actually me. No, no Parting. Okay, it's Parting. Parting I had to log into himself. my alternate account. Clown Parting? Yep. What are these clans? What? That he declined are the ready process. What? He's back. This is the account he uses to whenever he feels like it get rank one GM on NA. Has he done that before? Well, his MMR 60... is 6,700, and current rank 1 GM is 6,300, so... <laughs> well, Scarlet was also at 67 before. Scarlet, like I said, Koreans, pseudo-Koreans, or Europeans who want to be rank 1 GM. It's ripe for the pick and puck versus parting the match everybody's been waiting for. Uh, I, I don't know, best of 5, best of 7, I don't know what we're doing, but it'll be between 10 and 20 minutes either way. Well, seeing as that Puck is a Grandmaster and Parting is not, it should be pretty obvious who is going to be winning. Yeah, and also, of course, Parting is using the Rifkin portrait, uh, which is supposedly supposed to bestow you not only 1,000 MMR, but at least plus one to Twitter dramas per week. So, uh, oh, oh. shout out to Rifkin. Nice. Shout out to Rifkin. I, I actually don't know what we're doing, but whatever. It's one of some of the above. I think Parting's just gonna pay until he gets paid, so is what it is. Yeah. And Puck is just like such a ladder grinder. He plays five trillion games. Best of three. I remember. It's gonna be over before it starts. It's a best of All three. All right. Okay. Oh, they're both building gateways. A bold move. A pretty good choice. We recently had Print F. Uh, the professor of cannon rushing against Puck in a best of nine. Print F1, five to four. Damn, did he cannon rush every game? Yes. Sick. Did, did Puck... Wait, first parting or Puck? Sorry. Puck. Did Puck try to wall off with the forge in the gate? Like metagame uh, kind eventually? Of, but, mm, okay. but it wasn't like the cannons always kill it. It's that the cannons put a, the game in such a trajectory that eventually other things can happen. He, and he drags does magical him down things with his probes. Mud. Not really. Yeah, he it, he elevates him to a higher level of thinking. <laughs> the high, exactly. The game is meant to be played. It's simply, honestly, if you're just playing with cannons and pylons, that is a game of chess. Once yeah. you start introducing other units, it's just like a miss. I mean, you know, people have been playing auto boxes. chess. Auto chess, you have the courier build heroes. Before, you use probes to build buildings to build units. Now, the probe is is all you need. So. Is uh is that game any fun? I was thinking about playing it. I like or Underlords I a lot. I haven't played the mm -hmm. League one, and the Dota one was super clunky, so it was annoying to play after a while. Mm -hmm. And then I'm yeah. looking forward to the Blizzard version, which doesn't include XP income, uh, and it just has a bunch of characters from all their their thing. Well, they canceled the StarCraft FPS, so obviously they're looking at that. Yeah. Uh, and in two years, I'm looking forward to that coming out. Yeah, that'd be great. You know, I'm hoping for Warcraft 4 too. That'd be pretty exciting. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Wow. Age of Empires 4. I'm looking forward to that. Mm. Wait, is that happening? That is happening. That's actually. It is happening. Thing. Someone asked Bill Gates in his AMA at some point. And he and said. Bill Gates was like, I'll see what I can do. And Wait. then a few months later, it was announced. <laughs> this oh, was Bill. a few years ago. Oh, Bill. Yeah, and it still hasn't come out. No, it still hasn't. So, uh, looking at this game right now. I'm, um, 
I'm always interested when I see players go up to say eight, like say Puck has a, uh, well, after he builds his battery, uh, I think 18 workers on minerals. And then almost all the crew That's illegal. always stick with 16. And I'm like, which is better? I don't know. But what Having more workers doing? is better. You get more income. Still nearly as much as one probe after 16, up till about 20. And then the diminishing returns really kick in. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. And then I looked at some other graphs. Okay, this probe's going to die. And they were like, oh, you know, it's really like very, very small. It's not very But I don't small. know. Like stats always does this. Like all but the Alpha Kree's Star stick. doesn't. But they were also like, oh, maybe Alpha Star does it. Oh, shit, what's going to happen here? Oh, Alpha Star does it because of the, oh, that soccer's going to die. Look at this micro. Look at these gamers out here. Parting, of course. Well, I mean, Puck his... is one of the best micro pro toss in North America, and Parting is one of the best micro pro toss ever. Oh, what the reinforcements have arrived. Oh, Wait, here come two adepts. God. What are the adepts going to do? Oh, oh he doesn't have a there. He's going to sneak in. But he's got the shield battery, so he might be able to pick off one of these guys and be okay. Also, he built and those he... extra probes. Yeah, that's right. He built the <laughs> extra probes. The Alpha Star play is coming in. What's that Oracle doing? It's not doing anything. Not even Where out is yet. the Oracle? I... They're just both going across the map. I thought there was another one, but... No, there's oh. Parting's Oracles coming out, too. So... Adept. Parting is following up with a Phoenix. Well, he, he saw the Stargate, right? Mm, he yeah, he saw it building an Oracle. Yeah. yeah, the Adept got close enough. Yeah, he's got his whole uh, whole nexus is done. See, his pucks just scouts his snail. Let's see what he's going to get doing. Get some damage on the old Oh, soccer. the stasis! Oh, the stasis! Oh, he's not Stop looking. right there. Oh, that's rough. That's actually huge. That's, that's very big, yeah. I feel like that if there's any opportunity for um, uh, Puck to do anything <laughs> aggressive, what are you laughing at? I'm laughing at the stalkers. Or the, they couldn't get by the probes. They're having a hard time. <laughs> Chill out, stalkers. And they're back to work. Yeah, that's Losing actually a huge Losing about half of his mining income. Yeah, though, it really is. I feel like if you ever want to do anything aggressive there, maybe mm -hmm. try to do a little bit of a push. Can't anymore. These oracles doing a bit of damage. Getting sick. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, he, he made up for that's it. That's big damage. That's, that's big a lot damage. of damage. 20 versus 30 harvesters is huge. That's really, really big damage. That's almost Gets 10 out of more. There. Oh. <laughs> You're right. It is almost 10. You're exactly right. I think that amount of damage... Uh, Puck saying you went for a robo and you committed to the Stargate. I know I killed that many probes, and he kept the oracles alive. I don't think you go blank if you don't do that kind of damage here. Because going blank mm -hmm. into someone who has the tech is just asking to go up against a brick wall. But he thinks yep. he can do a follow-up with blank. Otherwise, I think he go charge move, or something. I think. He's just going to have so many units. I would I, I say, like, I think Parting coming over here to try to do something is really smart. I think he's going to walk right into the stasis trap. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. How oh, do you no. like it? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, no. And the probes are coming. Yeah, I think the probes might be smart. I think this is going to be GG almost if he gets this immortal and the rest of the units. Yeah, Puck's gonna use this to catapult across the map, I think, with Blink finishing kind of up. Wait, why are you pulling all the probes? I I don't know why he pulled the probes, to be honest. I, I honestly think it's not a bad play. Like, probes are so good, as dumb as it sounds, so good at tanking against Immortals and Stalkers that it's like, he knows he can lose five, and if he kills the whole army, like, that's just the game over as soon as he follows up with Blink. Um, but I don't think it's gonna even gonna matter. Like, he's just way ahead. I think that was to make sure he maintained as many stalkers as possible so he could counterattack. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. Also, maybe he thought there was a warp prism and that was worse than it was. There's a warp prism now. It's a little bit late, though. So, not as dangerous as it could have been. Uh, Puck definitely has a lead, but if there are any amount of immortals, then blink stalkers are not necessarily the ticket to victory. So, we'll see. I think he might be okay with all the... Um, uh... Let me see what's going on here. I mean, like he really just I think oracles. Parting has to just make a bunch of immortals and just like chill because I feel like if there's any type of drop or harass, the oracle shut it down immediately. Like you drop a you drop an immortal into a stasis trap and it's like, okay, well there goes your immortal. I just I think Puck's just gonna walk across the map and win. I think that's what's gonna happen. The three oracles are well. I've seen Puck actually against Astrea was a really fun PvP match because Puck just kept playing weird strategies and 
some of them kind of work. He went mm-hmm. mass oracle blink against immortal archon, but it eventually worked because 17 oracles kill things very fast. God, yeah, I guess if you get there. Oh, oh he's gonna. Nice. Oh my god, the wait, mic. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. What, did he. Was the guardian shield working in the prism? No, he just dropped it right there. No. Yeah, okay. That what was did, really though? well done by parting, but I don't think it's gonna matter. He's gonna lose every. All his stuff, and then in the main. I Oracle's mean, doing damage. No, he's. Yeah, he's pretty dead. I think he's dead. He's gonna lose some more little worker boys here. The probers are doing as much damage as they can, but it's not gonna be enough. He's even I, got a third Blink behind versus him. Ghetto Blink. There's no cooldown on the Prism Blink. So. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I gotta say, I think Puck looking like uh, number one in uh, NA. Number one Protoss in NA. I don't know what Parting's think he's doing. Go back to Korea, dude. <laughs> I mean, stay I think he is in Korea. Stay, stay, stay in your own server, bro. Back on. That might actually Back be on. a little bit of a factor. We are on Central US. Uh, oh, yeah, that might, that might be something. Don't, don't Look at all these oracles. That, I mean, I got to say, it's pretty innovative. I don't know if it's good, but it's definitely So innovative. creative. So creative. Yep. I mean, it. I think he thought that part... I think that Puck thought that parting was going to make more immortals, thereby making the uh, oracles even more effective. But parting went heavier on the... St- oh. Well. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> yeah. That's going to... That's going to take a little bit of the force out of this attack. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. Just a little teeny tiny bit. I got to say, I really think Oracles in like, like late game, uh, mid and late game, like for other matchups too, super underrated. You know, the idea of being able well, to like catch... like eight Oracles or two of them? I don't know. Like maybe like two or three with high energy. You I know? think Just most dropping pro the Protosses crap. have two or three, especially if they open Stargate. Like Neve almost always has one in the later game. If he can. Yeah. Oh, let's see what happens here. I... That one Immortal put in some work. That's not enough units for fighting. Not even remotely close to enough units. Nope, it's looking bad. GG. He's out of there. Puck knocks out the GSL Korean Protoss BlizzCon champion. Damn. World champion Puck. Look at that time supply cap, though. What a new Those are the real numbers. If this were angry coaching, he'd be hearing a word from us. But instead... Lots of words. Said he did win. Oh, did I get... Oh. I think Drick is still learning to use the WCS game heart so we get the fancy like workers killed and upgrade overlays and stuff. What a great feature. I gotta say the whole casting and viewing experience from um, when I used to play and watch, so much better. Like, you know, having the little workers killed, having all the little, you know, the nice skins, but then you don't, the players themselves don't That actually was only like, updated like three thing. months ago. That was years in the making. Oh, okay. That was many. <laughs> hey. There was drama over like players after the game being like, well, they use skins, so I, we regame. And like, yeah. I liked watching like one of them where it's like for a while, I think it was like a skin where the mineral patches were a cake. Is that right? Or was that a special? That was like a StarCraft anniversary. No, it was like whenever you oh. mined a mineral patch, it took a cake back to the commands. I like that. That made me happy. There's another one where workers died. They became fireworks. Like, <laughs> Oh, that's pretty sick. I like that, too. I like. I forget which map it was, but it's like when your units die, they fly into space. Oh, wow, my God. That's Parting quick is such a scrub. Parting is a scrub. Oh, he's playing Terran. Oh. <laughs> as much as he complains about it, he decides Protoss is going to be a better chance for him here. Yeah, wow. Well. I will be collecting now, says Puck. Get parting in the call. I don't think I should call him right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think right now is the time. Maybe after, especially if he wins. And just a warning, if I do end up calling parting, you're probably going to want to watch your volumes very closely. Yeah, I love <laughs> Man, if anyone hasn't listened to Parting Stream, you'd really need to do yourself a favor and listen to it. It's think, a piece of art. I think In Control had a great comparison where it's like doing vodka shots, where it's like the first one really burns, but by the fifth one, you kind of like it. Like <laughs> Yeah. Well, he had another comparison that was like, it's like listening to uh, metal, where he's like, at first, it just sounds like people randomly screaming into the microphone. But then after three or four list, you know, listens, you kind of know when it's coming in and you're like, oh, this is actually really good. Oh, fuck you, no, GG. 
Shiva. <laughs> Fuck you! It's up. Wait, oh, I'm sorry. Let me, let me, let me fix it. She ball. <laughs> there's a, there's a fantastic clip. Where, one of my favorite, where it's like he beats someone, and he's like, "Oh, fuck you, no GG." And then he actually did write GG, and he's like, "Oh, GG, oh, sorry." That's <laughs> <laughs> like, that's one of my favorite ones. He's got some great ones too. Also, is like my he's cannon rushing someone, and then like the Terran lifts five FCVs in the command center and oh, then yeah. drops them onto the thing, and he's like. This guy's got 500 million IQ. I like when he's doing a cooking stream and drops his phone in a cup of water. Did he? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. And you hear it like it's underwater. Oh, <laughs> he's just no. yelling. Oh, and the, it's beautiful because his face is still on camera. And he's just screaming oh, at the phone in the water. Oh, no. So what we're trying to say is Parting's best moments are when he's not playing the game. He's, a, he's so funny. I really like him. Seems like a good guy. I, I guess I get to tell my... Whenever you get someone who de probably hasn't heard uh, a, a parting story, that's always fun. I, I went to Home Story Cup 10, which parting won over Flash in an epic series. And within a couple hours of the end, him and Stefano were drinking Red Bull vodka out of the Home Story Cup. So, God, I love like it. <laughs> I love it. That's fantastic. Yeah, and like, like filling the whole thing. It's not a small cup. I gotta slosh it everywhere. Stefano is so funny too. Like every time I see an interview with him, he's just like so blunt and straight to the point. Like I don't know. It's like very like stereotypically like French, I guess. But it's like it's the kind of thing where someone's like, "Oh, hey, Stefano. Like, what did you think of my play in that game?" And he was like, "It was very." This it was very bad. I think it's very vulnerable and uh, it's very stupid play. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, okay. Well, I thought it was like, you know, he like goes, he loses like two, three to Serral. <laughs> and Stefano's like, you're an idiot. <laughs> and then someone's like, hey, Stefano, I want to do some Red Bull vodka shots. And he's like, yes. And then, and then <laughs> wait, the wait. final day of the event, he shows up with big ass sunglasses and plays like an NA, like mid GM. It's like, oh, I wonder <laughs> what happened there. What happened, Stefano? Oh, no. It's like, oh, like, my opponents played very well. <laughs> That's all right. What a day. He's a pretty funny guy. I give it to him. So I got to say, what do you think, too, about the um, PvP proxy uh Very pylon, good pen is rating. Like, uh, uh, you really got to make sure you keep your infrastructure safe. And this, what's safer than not putting it in your base? Because that's where they'll be looking for it. No, 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 no. Because I think this might be a fake one. I think this is a fake proxy pylon. But oh, not it's... pucks. Not pucks. I think partings might be a fake one. But then he doesn't have another problem. I, yeah, it, okay, yeah. I mean, you never know, all right? Let's get yeah. my magic eight ball out and figure out what strategy is well, going to be Well, I feel like sometimes, <laughs> sometimes people do this. I've seen people, a lot of PvPs do this, where it's like, you know, you proxy the yeah. second pylon and then play standard from your, you know, your main base. And Whatever like, that might be. Oh, no. Wait, is he going to, the probe does not quite see the timing of the pylon finishing. Is there any other tell? Not really. Is he really going to try to expand in PvP? Parting? You crazy? No. What is this? The six months at the end of last year when for some reason people thought you could expand? I got to say, though, like this is... If there was ever a map where it could happen, it would be this map. But I still got to say, I always get caught off guard so many times of like an Oracle going right into my base from a proxy pylon like this from Puck. Well, funny you And I'm like, say what? That. It's already out at 315? And you're just like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, and then but you lose again. Parting, he got an Adept in. I don't think he got it far enough that he saw there was no tech, but... So, Stalkers and two Adepts. Where are Puck Stalkers? Wait, what is happening? Um, I think they're just kind of staggered out to get those to get the Oracle. He's good. Is he gonna wait for two? Oh, the battery finishes. Okay, good timing. I think he just put a stasis up there, but the probes are off the line again. Success so far from Puck with that, but this is gonna get real awkward here. The Oracle's actually coming home. I don't. Yeah, he's not making a second one, so I think he's just gonna bring it back to the defense. But Harding, my could work. Well, obviously. Missing a lot of mining time here. You know, there's the probe kills, but there's also the mining time. Because, like, you know, this kind of... Oh, my God. The Oracle is actually being pretty good there. Getting a Yeah, a it gets kill. two. Is it worth... Well, Puck made all those extra probes again. This was a macro proxy. With a yep. later expand. Um, mm -hmm. And, of course, mm -hmm. the second Oracle, the Oracle from Parting, 
much more on track to to do just damage. Just want to say that uh, parting was very supply block for a second. I could also do that. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why, why, why am I not in this show, man? I mean, uh, if you want to play parting next, I would do it, and I'd win. Strong words. <laughs> Here's Strong the thing. Words. Like, if I say it and then I do it, people will be like, "What?" Oh my god! You miss but if a, I don't do it, they'd be like, "100% well, of the shots you don't take." All right. That's right. That's right. If someone said, "Hey, do you want to take the game-winning shot for the whatever?" I'd be like, "Yeah, 100%." Because if I miss, people would be like, "Yeah, well, obviously." But if I get it, <laughs> oh, oh yeah, give me that cool. NBA contract. Oh, I was thinking hockey here still. I don't. Oh, yeah. I, don't, yeah, I right. never okay. specified hockey. I guess. Sorry, I'm just trying to relate to an American audience. Oh, I'm I'm pretty much American. I'm from Detroit. I mean, wait, no. I guess that works. But uh, right okay, outside Canada. Good. Where are you from? Detroit. Oh, okay, nice. Oh. Oracle, nothing happened. I. So this is kind of a weird spot because Puck can't counter Stargate because his Stargate is on the map, but he's built. It's really hard, because nobody has a robo. Parting's coming across the map. There's plenty of stasis. There's no other tech for Puck. The unit counts 10 stalkers to 6. It really comes down to the stasis, I think. I gotta Does say, oh my god, it? he just peeled. Oh, oh my the god, backup no. stasis! No, he missed the first one and backed up into the second one. Oh, the bait and switch. Masterfully baited out of Puck. I gotta say. <laughs> Masterfully baited, exactly. This Phoenix doing a little bit of something, but see what happens when the stasis wears off. I can't quite tell what's gonna <laughs> happen here. Uh, I mean, the star, the oracles haven't really fought. If they fight, they win. It's just at what cost? Yeah. Losing some probies. These are big probies. But he's losing. He left all his small probies at home. Um, so <laughs> now Puck has three oracles and he's got to do something with them because he didn't commit them to the fight. He could have killed those stalkers, but he may have lost probably two, maybe all three oracles if he had done that. So another yeah, he... typical standard PVP. Oh, we're uh, gonna get some damage though with the oracles coming back in the natural. Wow, party oh my god, probably have been <laughs> some, exactly some bigger probies. I he just forgot. About I, all the oracles that are on the map. I don't know if it was so much forgetting. And then the, if only he had flown by the fake out proxy pylon. I, what? Oh no, he just lost the game again to getting like 10 things killed. But. Don't make a caster mistake block. like that. Like it could still go either way. Only because it's PvP. But all the oracles survive. But wait, who has blink faster? Puck does? Then he blinks three stalkers into ten. The ten stalkers back off because they respect such a bold move. You gotta respect the blink. Oh, oh that mark was <laughs> gone. Okay, that's good. All right, let's see at the front. Oh. oh, the manual micro here. I mean, Honestly, he's got the high ground. Blink in six blink seconds. About to finish. Oh, no. Well, it's still fairly even, but the the extra workers I think are gonna kick in, and then uh, the Puck stalker is be and in oracle count shape. is in Puck's favor. Right. That is, everything's in Puck's favor besides, nope, everything. APM? <laughs> APM? Yep, yep, that's true. Yeah, but look at, oh, look at the little strategic oracle trap placement. Looking pretty well, good. If you lose a couple stalkers, though, it's not really worth it. Is he going to blink Oh, forward? are we no, doing this? Not. Is this oh. what we're doing? Okay. All right, then. If he blinks into an or uh, a stasis, the game's over. Like if he, if he has half his stalkers in stasis, Puck's just gonna, gonna jump him. I think it's gonna happen too. I mean, the fact that he's got no detection. Robo's on the way. Out. Does Puck have like enough even, stalkers to kill him? Even yeah. one stalker in a stasis. Okay, one stalker. You know place? you can blink out. If you're fast oh. enough. Oh really? Oh, that's pretty sick. Yeah, there's like about him. like a point three second cast time between the stasis triggering and actually activating. So you that's pretty much just have to get know. lucky. That's good to know. Is it? <laughs> yeah, because I had that extremely fast I'm looking forward to my... screwing that up in my game. <laughs> Me and my Canadian fiber internet will get that no problem. You have fiber? 
No, I don't. It's just pretty good, though. I was hoping that I'd be able to say it and no one would call me out on it, but yeah, no, I don't. No, I was just, I just wanted to know if I should actually be jealous or not. No, I don't. That's I've, I've decent no. internet. But, but. Made up server. Oh! Oh, no, that was just. Oh, but wait! Oh! Get out of there! Oh. Well. Blink on. What? What? Oh, Why? What? Mistake. How does that make any sense? I, I told him to do it, I take it back. I didn't <laughs> yeah. even, it was a mistake. Oh. Don't do it, parting. Okay, he listened to me too. Okay. I, that was a roller coaster. God. That was wild. That was really wild. Um. All right. So <laughs> what a beautiful like revelation. Yeah. Actually, I mean, he'll see this if the stalkers are nearby the pylon. I guess. Well, I mean, the game's sort of evening out a bit. I feel like Harding's positioning well, is pretty this bad. This is not great. The stalkers, 21 to 18 in favor of Puck, but I don't know if all the stalkers are... Is he going to fly the Observer into a cannon? Not quite. What, double oh my God, Stargate? Two more Stargate? Jesus Christ. Well, he lost one, so he's got to get two more. Unfortunately, directly oh underneath an Observer. Watch Puck to be doing that on purpose, like... Because <laughs> it big, was in Vision Ray. <laughs> going straight into... We've got Double Blink and Ghetto Blink. Oh, there goes the Guardian right. Shield. But what a mortal. See. Puck is looking good in these games. What are the upgrades at? Both one one attack? Oh, and then Puck getting the plus two? It's just All some right. old school PvP. I right, just blink on blink PvP. action. Yeah, this vision is, is what are you doing with Oh my. Well, oh no. Oh no, but now there's more! This one immortal is gonna put some mad work in though. Oh, does he chase? There are stasis wards. He lost his... Ob well, no, he has an observer. Okay. Uh, and Parting continues forward without reinforcement. But he does have one immortal. One immortal is big. Is there another one on the way? No, just a warp no, person. No, just okay. the one. <laughs> That's all you need. All right. That's right. I, I'm still confused by Puck's composition of just Blink Stock or Oracle. It seems very strange to me. Puck is he's very making... good at at making it very hard to win the game easily. Like that's his biggest skill. Yeah, I gotta say, like I was watching him play in Gym Rising a few times in like customs, and I was like, what on earth are these games? Like their bases are on opposite sides of the map. He's got like <laughs> disruptors against like Lurker Muta. It just oh my it's god. Like disruptor, High Templar, Oracle, Phoenix, like kind of. Wait, did that? Yeah, like... Well, what? What? Wait, uh, uh, this is it. What is going on? I think the game's about to be over. Is what's going on? What is it? I. <laughs> it, and they chose yes. pretty similar colors. Like. I was gonna say I can't tell the difference between the colors. They start blinking all over one another. And the plus two is that finishing up? It is two more oracles. <laughs> I think this is gonna be it. Immortal is coming out. I mean, eventually. I don't think the Immortal is going to counter. Like, I feel this is Puck. A little bit of a BM move. Like, I'm going to come in with nine Oracles, as it seems like we're having an even Blink War. Both got charge and have yet to make a Zealot. Like, <laughs> Well, you never know when you might need it. Oh, loses the Stalker. Okay. Well, now, well, now maybe. actually has more Stalkers. Pro but probably Puck because is... of the Devil Stargate Oracle. Okay, Puck just what? morphed in eight oh, stalkers. He's just trying to trap them. He's just... Oh, he's just doing it for the, the highlights. Oh! Oh! <laughs> he, it I looked like he saw it. it. No, you gotta leave. Like, are those stalkers just dead? Wait, no, wait, the charge, oh, the charge lots. Zealots are actually good units. And they're dead. They were good oh, okay. units. Okay, I mean... I mean, I'm, I'm not a mathematician, but... Why is <laughs> Puck not in GSL? He wants to make it fair. To be fair, oh. Parting's G PvP in GSL shown was not incredible either. So. Hey. Wow, that was great. Oh, that's it. It's best of three. That's it. Wow. That, yep. Oh my god, Puck, that what a It did god. last longer than I thought. I <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh, Drickit's paying out this one, unless I am. I don't know, Drickit. You tell me. Yeah, that was uh, 
it kind of felt like they were just slapping each other around a bunch. And mm -hmm. uh, whoever landed the harder slaps. Like, Puck was landing better slaps. And eventually, yeah, I think you're right. I and eventually they became claps, as they say. Yeah. So. Well, they also, like, he lost the game the same way both times parting. Like, it was just like Oracle's flying to his base, killing 10, 12 workers, and that was the game. Besides that, he was doing kind of fine in both Check of them, out but... parting.